Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and welcome to your bonus reading. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. And today is the 9th of December, 2022. Time is 9.46 a.m. Bali Indonesian time. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important messages that Sagittarius need to hear today. Four pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. Well, Satch, it could be you or it could be this person. Um, I definitely see a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Um, it could be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's someone here. When I say someone, that means it could be you or this person. There is someone here. Home is regretting over a very, very bad judgment call here in the past, right? Constantly thinking, overthinking, overanalyzing, and feeling like in so much despair with a ten of swords in regards of a bad judgment call here. Somebody made a mistake, okay? But initially, with the king of swords here, it feels like someone could be thinking, yep, this is the right thing to do. Uh, I must do this and it's the right plan um, but the strength in reverse and the ten of wands here in reverse it feels like it feels like there was a choice in regards to letting go of something or some burden or responsibilities because this person doesn't have the will or the courage to follow through with something okay it could be this person um feeling that they don't have the will to follow through something it's just way too hard right now they are regretting they feel like maybe they made the wrong judgment call and now it's haunting them with the eight of swords and they feel super down ten of swords here because maybe whatever the plan that they had it didn't work out okay unless this is you again it could go vice versa we've got the two cups we've got the four of cups and the tower in my first so there's this energy of someone also thinking and planning that perhaps you know i need to undo the damages but i don't think so i can because this person might just reject me with the four cups so it could be your person thinking you're going to reject them if they were to attempt to recover things with you or to undo the damages that they may have done to you, to this connection to themselves, okay? Or it could be you thinking that way. So we've got the two of cups here. This for me indicates a partnership, soulmate, best friends. Um, some of you, you know, this could be a friend or this could be a romantic partner. Um, can be anybody, but I definitely see like there's someone here wanting to get back together, wanting to be on the same page wanting to be a part of this union, but fearful with Eight of Swords here that it's going to be rejected, right? Because somebody made a choice to let go of this connection of this thing because didn't have the strong will or the courage to move forward thinking that this is the correct thing to do. But unfortunately, it was a bad judgment call and it could have caused this person a lot of pain, sufferings, stuck feeling stuck eight of swords or something that possibly didn't work out in their life based on their own judgment call right in the past and i do sense this person could uh, could be feeling kind of stuck right now and how to go about offering you either an apology or an offer of reconciliation but feeling also you know the thing is the tower here in reverse something that may have happened it was very dramatic and it was very destructive it could be in a physical sense or metaphorically but i feel like this is something that this person or you could be thinking that maybe you know it's too late 
There's there way too much damages have been done already. Uh, I don't think this person is gonna take me back. I don't think this person is gonna accept my explanation. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's pull out a few more cards. When it comes to money for pentacles, um, don't get, don't get um, enticed. Okay, don't get enticed by, by things that are sparkly new things people asking you to buy stuff for them four pentacles uh don't get distracted that's what i'm getting here and save your money with the four pentacles it's like some of the cups feels like you know they are wishes because they are they are in the clouds right they are wishes it hasn't happened yet they are they are cups so it's more about feelings fantasy uh, that you could be fantasizing or imagining something that you want uh, to buy or to spend money on or to go on vacation. But Spirit says, hey, hold on with the Four of Pentacles. Save your money first, okay? Just for some of you, such if you've been feeling distracted and you want to spend more money. <laughs> but um, that's just for some of you, okay? And we've got the Nine of Wands here, Eight of Wands, and we've got the World and the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you could actually be thinking about traveling or traveling again, right? Eight of Wands, traveling card, same goes to the world and the Wheel of Fortune. And we've got the Nine of Wands. Spirit says, before you travel, make sure you have uh, extra, you have backup, backup, um, financial backup, okay? Or also, I, what I'm seeing here could be insurance, needing to get, uh, make sure everything is planned properly, like a travel insurance, unless, even if it was to be like a short trip. For me, I have travel insurance like all year. In fact, I need to, <laughs> it's almost expired. I need to uh, renew it. But anyway, for some of you, it's basically telling you, you need to renew something. It could be your insurance, travel insurance. And there could be something unexpected that comes in with the Four of Pentacles, unexpected bills. So make sure you have, you know, enough uh, that you're putting aside to uh, maintain these these things. Um, sometimes we forget, right? Some, I always forget, like suddenly I see like a big deduction once a year for my health insurance. And I go like, oh, what happened? Who took my money out? <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, okay. Uh, it was time. It's a once a year thing and it just did that automatically from my bank. So. Just uh, be aware of that. That's just for some of you, Saj. Yeah, just a uh, sh small reminder here. The Wheel of Fortune can indicate things are going to change for a lot of you. A new cycle is going to begin with the world here. It feels like it's going to happen really, really, really quickly, right? Um, but it also takes you needing to make that decision in order for this big change to happen. And it may seem scary with the Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles here, but it's a good change, okay, Saj? It feels like you're going to unfamiliar uh, territory in your life. And don't be afraid, Spirit says. And um, it's actually a very positive change for you. But it seems like you may have a bit of a fear here with the Nine of Wands and Seven of Cups. Um, unsure of the unknown or the unfamiliarity. All right, Sagittarius, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. Second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. I upload your videos right away once I'm done with all the readings. All right, Saj, I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Take care. Bye.